Hey everyone, it is another Rails quick tip. This one's gonna be about the gym letter opener. This is kind of a default that I add to my apps when it comes to active or action mailer or whatever it's called, active mailer, I can't remember. But the idea is to send test emails like for real and it's happening locally in your dev environment. So you wouldn't do this in your production environment, but it's a, a nice way to gut check your emails and to make sure they're getting sent, especially at scale. So what I'll do is create a quick, I did create a quick Rails app, vanilla app, nothing to it so far, but I'll generate a scaffold just to give you some idea. Uh, title, string, message, text. Uh, it's gonna be posts. Think of it as a little mini newsletter app, nothing fancy at all, but just to give you the concept in mind. Um, so I created this. I'm gonna go ahead and add the gem to our gem file and Make sure it's in your development environment. So the group, I should say, not the environment. Uh, you won't want this in your production environment. So letter opener, we'll save that down, bundle install. Okay. And I'll actually do some configuration too. There's one more step you need and just to copy these two lines from the GitHub repo and go and paste it into your not print your screen, but go ahead and paste it into your config environments development file. I'll just throw it at the end. Save that down. It's going to perform action mailer deliveries locally. So that is something that's usually off by default with your development environment, mostly because you don't need to get emails sent there. But um, in this case, it's nice to have so you can gut check and letter openers is kind of possible. It, it basically just opens up your uh, emails as they get sent in a new tab. So you're able to preview them in real time as opposed to something that's built into Rails, which I'll show you in a second. So I've got that installed. Um, I haven't even booted the server yet, so we can now. The old way to preview emails, not necessarily a bad one, um, is to go to localhost Rails and then mailers to run those migrations real quick. Typically any emails you've generated in your app are gonna be shown here if you've scaffold them with the generator. So say like this, so Rails generate mailer, post mailer, uh, and then maybe I'll call this one send issue. And that will create its own post mailer, all the new views for that. So you have plain text, HTML if you want that. Uh, also creates a test and also a handy preview file that's going to go ahead and be in the test directory, which if, as I refresh the screen, um, you'll see it here. Now, when you go to that, it's just going to have some dummy content in it, but you can see you can ha have those variants of views. So if you have just HTML in this folder, you're only going to see HTML there as far as the format dropdown goes. It's already got a subject, which you can change the to and from, of course, you can change if you get into all the action mailer stuff purposes of this video, I'm just going to go through the gym foundations real quick. So I'm going to go back into our controller code. Uh, since we scaffolded the post app, I'm going to go into just create a quick email that gets kicked off after you create a post. So we'll just say post mailer with uh, post. Uh, we'll say send issue and deliver now. So this is passing the instance of the post through to the email class and calling the method send issue and doing it instantly as opposed to async, uh, which is something you should do probably if you have a background job queue hooked into your action mailer. I uh, won't go into that in this video, but it's something you probably should do if you're sending a lot of emails at once so your app doesn't fall over. Uh, so we end the mailer now, we got the post mailer uh, we could just change this to post params post to get that instance that's coming through. I'll just leave the two for now, but the subject can be the post title. So if I run this now, um, it will send that email when you create a new post, but let's go ahead and create our issue or just update it to be post title, maybe as the H1 and the body as just a paragraph for now. Obviously this needs some UI love, but we'll save that down just so we've got that 
as a point of reference. I'll just paste this in to be thorough. Get rid of the HTML. All right, and save that down. We'll go back to the UI. Now you could just go ahead and do this from the Rails console, but it's up to you if you want to do that or not. What is going on here? Post mailer. Okay, if you want to actually have this in your preview, you, you need to new, new up an instance of the post. So I guess if you want to really fix this, we'll go into mailers, previews, post mailer. I'll just do a, a fake with clause here. Post, we'll just say post dot first. And we don't have any posts yet, so this is kind of broken. So if you create a post, it should work. So in our case, I'll just go to posts. There's our fancy new app. So first post, test post, create post. Now you notice that tab opened when I did that. So here's the app over here, a new tab opened and it should be in your default browser, whatever you're using. And that's going to end up being uh, the preview for your email. So you know for sure it was sent, even though it's local, it's opening up a new instance of this, an attempt directory. If you go into your uh, app, there's going to be a temp folder. There's now a folder for letter opener, and it's going to have those files there for each email it's sent. I think this is like recursively deleted after a while, but I could be wrong. Um, it's just temporary, so it's it's something that goes away. But this is a great way to ensure your emails are getting sent, kind of have a little um, confidence that they are. So I really love using this. It's simple. It's you know effective. You can just go into your app, add a few con configurations, and it's ready to rock and roll. Uh, so I really recommend it. Obviously the old approach, or it's not really old, the built-in approach works just all the same. It's just not really live. So you can't inter interact with the email like, uh, you know, almost user test it, so to speak, or dog food it is kind of the common nomenclature for that. Uh, so hopefully that, that was useful. This is a cool gem. I definitely add to my stack every time I new up a new app that I'm going to spend significant time on. Um, especially if you're sending a lot of emails, really recommend it. And then of course, doing things in an asynchronous way is going to make your app scale way more gracefully. So consider that too. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Hello Rails is my new course on Ruby on Rails. I'll teach you Ruby on Rails from the ground up. Visit hellorails.io for more information.